heritage, it's an important thing. And what do you think about these uh, pieces that we just loaded here today? Oh, I think they're great. Anything that can preserve our history. And it was a good aircraft. It was sturdy. And, uh, well, it brought me back 32 times. Wow. <laughs> Of, uh, about to receive new spar caps that we had made for this project and they will be delivered sometime next month so I'm told to here so that we can actually start rebuilding the aircraft. My name is George Roskopf. Uh, I'm uh, the director of uh, engineering. I'm going to be the actual one who starts rebuilding this aircraft from scratch. As you can see in the background, we're starting to unload the second section of uh, what is on the container. We're, we're about to take out the engine firewalls and uh, engine mounts. Associate Professor uh, Engineering at Carleton University. And uh, Rong has been helping us uh, evaluate the uh, structures of this uh, rare airplane that's just come from Malta. And uh, Rong, uh, how, do you, uh, how do you see this structure? Uh, and can you tell us about CAD and uh, engineering these missing pieces to put our jigsaw puzzle together? Yeah, yeah so as a professor in the Department of Mechanical Aerospace Engineering, Carlton, I'm very glad to join this project because I think this project is a uh, historic uh, significance. I will be constructing jigging tables and uh, layup tables so that we can start disma uh, dismantling the uh, center wing section. We are also in the process of uh, about to receive new spar caps that we had made for this project and they will be delivered sometime next month so I'm told to here so that we can actually start rebuilding the aircraft center section. Okay, we're here today at the uh, Canada Aviation and Space Museum in the uh, storage area and uh, we've just last week had a historic occasion, a, uh, the arrival of a Halifax Hastings shipment of parts straight from Malta. Uh, here, I, I'm here with uh, uh, George Roshkoff, our uh, engineering director at Halifax 57 Rescue. I wanted to show you this uh, little sign here and this is from uh, Mario Zamet of uh, Malta and he put that inside the container as a uh, greetings when the container came to Canada and what it says is Ops Haystack Malta and Haystack was the code name for the famous fighter air base Luha on Malta where they fought in World War II so we actually loaded the container at Luha in Malta so there's a nice little uh, greeting from Mario he did all our work to load the container and uh, so uh, George uh, now that you've seen all of the wing boxes and landing gear and everything you've got have you got enough to get started and uh, what would you be your first major step? Well as you once said in the tape from Lake Mayosa it isn't pretty but we can definitely make a new one. Yeah that's right and uh, so George and I were looking at all of the structure and all of the parts and if I can simplify it for you, we are going to show you shots of the wing boxes and everything. But if I can simplify it for you, I'll just show you this. Excuse my fingers. But uh, what we have is we have uh, wing boxes Bravo, Charlie, Echo. And those, as you can see, form the heart of a Halifax. So the center section of a Hastings is the same as a Halifax. We're here at the uh, Canada Aviation and Space Museum and uh, Ivor uh, from Mullen Trucking is here. Uh, he's going to take our, our uh, good old parts uh, for the Halifax project out to uh, the Bomber Command Museum of Canada in Nanton, Alberta. And uh, Ivor, we've, uh, you've been doing most of the wrestling here. I know you're ex-military, you're Navy, but you know when we have our uh, when we when we save our heritage it's an important thing and what do you think about these uh, pieces that we just loaded here today oh i think they're great anything that can preserve our history is beyond anything else we can hope for 
Uh, I had an uncle, my father's older brother was a mechanic in England during World War II, probably worked on some of these, probably even knew our other guest here today at one point in time or somebody from my home area might have flown with them. So to help with the preservation, no problem. And as I, I mentioned earlier, uh, when they did the statistics after the war, uh, the mechanics that worked on the Canadian squadrons, they had the highest serviceability rate of all of the squadrons in the British Bomber Command. So, you know, the Canadian boys were, they were good flight crews and they were good mechanics. So that's what we're trying to do is save our history, save our heritage, and uh, hopefully we can pass it on to uh, the next generation. But thanks for uh, hauling this stuff. Take good care of it, and uh, we'll see you in Nanton. No problem. Thanks a lot. Hi, uh, Carl Kasgard from Halifax 57 Rescue Canada, and we're here at the Canada Aviation and Space Museum. We've just uh, had a real good working bee today, and uh, we've loaded our precious parts for the Bomber Command Museum of Canada. And with me today is uh, Jack, and you were, uh, what position did you hold on what aircraft? I, I was in, in the mid-under position with the 50 caliber, and uh, I was with 415 Squadron Swordfish. Yes, and you were at Eastmore. And we were at Eastmoor with 432, Lee side. Yeah. Right. And uh, Jack, uh, uh, now that you've had a chance to see the uh, wing sections and all the landing gear and the Bristol Hercules engines, what do you think of this for a start for a Halifax? It's come out of nowhere, hasn't it? Yes, it has, and it's a, it's a very good start. And under your wing, it'll go through to the end. Well, uh, we're really determined here at uh, Halifax 57 Rescue to put together a Halifax, even if it's uh, kind of like that Johnny Cash song of one piece at a time. <laughs> yes. But we will do it. And uh, so, uh, I, but I wanted to let you know that since these parts have been discovered, recovered, and brought all the way from Malta, you are the first Halifax veteran to see these parts and to see that yes we will have a second Halifax for Canada. How do you feel about that? I feel very good about that Carl and I have to thank you for keeping me in touch with uh, what's going on here and the rebuilding of this great aircraft. I know and, and you know the, the, the Lank got most of the spotlight and the credit but we know who was the backbone. We know which aircraft was the backbone bone of uh, the uh, six group and the Canadian squadrons, don't we? And well, you, you've got an image there on your shirt. That's right. And uh, we know that 70% of Canadian air crew did their tour, as I did, in the Halifax. Right. And it was a good aircraft. It was sturdy. And, uh, well, it brought me back 32 times. Wow. <laughs> You dodge bullets for us, and we do appreciate our freedom, and, and thanks for fighting for us. Well, thank you very much. And um, uh, I wanted to uh, let you know that because you're the first veteran, Halifax veteran, to see the beginnings of a Halifax project uh, for Canada, a second Halifax, that uh, we at uh, Halifax 57 Rescue have a little token of appreciation for you fighting for our freedom. So we wanted to give you this uh, special hat. It's a, a Halifax 57 Rescue Canada hat, and it's the very first hat that we've given out, uh, and it's it's all yours. And uh, for a gunner of Halifaxes, there you go, man. You're, you're part of the team now. So. Well, thanks very much, Carl. I appreciate it. And it'll be honor, an honor to wear this. Sure. And uh, we'll keep you uh, fully in the loop as uh, we develop uh, the, the engines and the landing gear over on the semi-trailer truck there. They're going out for our special August 20th memorial ceremony. So I think the folks in uh, Alberta's eyes are going to pop out when they see the beginnings I of the Halifax. So. And from here, from Ottawa, we say bon voyage to the transport that's taken it out there. And uh, we will keep you fully up to date on uh, the rebuild of the wing, Good. which will begin here in Ottawa fairly yes. soon. Okay, thanks very much, Carl. Great, that's great. Great to have you here, buddy. It's good to be here. Okay, thank you.